Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Let's get started with prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Father God, we thank you for just being amazing, for being so great, for loving us through our flaws. We thank you for allowing us to be able to read your word and get an understanding. We thank you for giving us another opportunity to get it right. Father God, we ask as we study your word, we ask you to help us get understanding, to apply it to our lives and, and to maybe to teach others about how great you are. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Verse of the day is Philippians 3 and 1. Wherever it happens, my dear brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. I never get tired of telling you these things, and I do it to safeguard your faith. Subject, rejoicing through the storm. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it. I'm handing it to God. I am free. I am rejoicing. I'm not tired yet. Rejoicing in the Lord. What does that mean? What does it look like? I had a situation that happened to me once, and I never experienced hurt or pain like this. It was like the worst feeling in the world. And when I was in that moment, it took me a while to smile again. It took me a while to feel again and, and not feel numb as I tried to pull myself out of it. I, I learned that I couldn't and that I have to find a place in my life where I gave it all to God, that I give myself more to him than I ever have before. And I let go of this ideal that I could do it all and couldn't. The moment I realized that, yes, I feel this way and yes, I can't escape this. I have to go through it. I realized that I must rejoice in God regardless. And it was tough. I'm going to be transparent. It was very tough. As I gave more of my brokenness to God, I realized I felt better. And the more I gave, the more I felt and knew he saw me. I didn't have to do anything but exist. And he always seen me. Pain hurts. Yes, that, that might not sound grammatically correct, but foot pain hurts. Any kind of pain hurts. And when we have this pain, we can feel it all over. And pain makes us where we don't want to get out of bed. We don't want to do anything, but be in our pain, whether emotional pain, physical pain, or mental pain. Pain is pain. What Paul was telling us to do is rejoice in those moments. Not to fake until we make it, but to rejoice in those moments is putting ourselves beyond what we're feeling. It's saying, even though I feel this way, I know God's going to help me feel better. Even though I, my life is chaotic or in chaos, I know I can find peace in God. That's what Paul's saying. Rejoice. Because he's still there with us, even though it hurts. Rejoicing in God gives us pleasure to go beyond what we're feeling. Romans 5 and 3 and 4 says, We rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that, that they help us develop endurance. Endurance develops strength and, and character, and character strength, character strength our, strengthens our confidence, hope of salvation. The problem is some Christians like to fake it, like they're happy that they think that that will make them look more holy or that it will make them look more righteous. And it doesn't. God isn't telling us today to put on a fake face. But what he's telling us to do is rejoice in our trials when we rejoice. It, it, it develops endurance and endurance gives us more strength and strength help us to uh, build character and character help us help us give us confidence in our faith, in our salvation, because we can't do anything without God. We can't give ourselves the, the help that we need. We like to depend, we have to depend on God. So when we rejoice, we were depend, we are depending on him to fix us, to mend us. So that what rejoicing looks like, pushing through our sadness to give God the glory. Psalms 110, 24, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The Bible tells us in this verse to rejoice because this is the day the Lord has made. That even though we feel that the way we feel, we must give him praise. We must give him more of that. And even though we feel like we are in the deepest, darkest spot we have ever been and rejoice because God gave us this day. Rejoice because we, be, we could be underground, but we're above the earth because we have salvation in God. Rejoice because we're going through. Paul said one time that the troubles that we're going through are small and they won't last that long. Today, if you're having trouble with anything that you're dealing with, take it to God in prayer for the pain that you're feeling. 
God doesn't want you to ignore it. He wants you to take it to him in prayer. He wants you to see that he's bigger than what you're dealing with. He wants you to see that he can guide us through, but we must depend on him and not be so focused on the problem that we're having. He wants us to so focus on him that the problem that becomes so small be, because being in his presence is bigger than what we're suffering. So if you're suffering, if you're depressed or if you're dealing with anxiety, place it in his hands and focus on him. And what you're feeling will become smaller and smaller as you give it to him. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Father God, we ask you today to help us through our problems. Help us through our storm, Father God. Father God, we place everything in you. We, we ask you right now to open our eyes so that we may see. Help us to, to have more confidence in you and not just at the moment, but at all times, Father God. Father God, we ask you to, to come to us this day, Father God. Come into our lives and change us and mold us, Father God. Father God, we're yielding ourselves to you. We yield our members to you, Father God, for you to mold us. Father God, we ask you to help us through this moment. Help us to stay strong. Help us to lean on you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Reference, Ephesians 6 and 1, finally be strong in the Lord and be strong, strength in his might. Psalms 32 and 7, you are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. Psalms 32 and 7, Psalms 16 and 11, you make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy at your right hand, our pleasures forevermore. Psalms 16 and 11. Further reading, First Chronicles 4, 5 through 5 through 17, Acts 25, 1 through 27, Psalms 5, 1 through 12, Proverbs 18, 14 through 15. If you're looking for the further reference, further reading in the reference and the memory verse and the verse of the day is in the bio of this podcast. This ends the subject rejoicing through our storms. I pray you all have a blessed day. Please remember that Jesus loves you. I love you too. And remember to click the follow, subscribe, or harp according to whatever platform you're on. Thank you. Have a blessed day.